Welcome to lesson number five, folks. Uh, what I've done this time is, you can see on the on the board, I've done a, a, a little sketch there for you. And what I want you to do is, after our perspective lesson, use this sketch and sketch it out before we start our painting. Just a few points on it. There, you can see how we're using perspective. Taking that, there's our little road there. Travelling into the distance, taking the eye into the picture. There's some bushes and stuff like that there, and some bushes across there, and a bit of grass there and a bit of grass there, and then the distance. Now what I want to do with this one, it's 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 a winter scene because we, we, we've got the trees all sketched out and uh, these are, are all the bare branches and these are these are closer than those there because they're they're bigger for a start and these will be subordinate to these. So first thing we've got to do is make some colour, isn't it? And I, what I've done, I've, I've put some colours up on, on the screen there for you. And if you mix them colours there, so you're prepared to paint, there's a, 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 pot, of, a, a pot of ochre, that's, that's you, you, or raw sienna, whichever one you've got, and then a pot, a different pot of, of ultramarine there, so one there, one there, and then a third pot of the ultramarine again with some burnt umber, that's the dirty brown colour there. That will give us a bit of cloud. Now what I want in at the bottom is a very weak mix of alizarin crimson, that's that one there, and we'll just pop that in there. So that's what I'm going to do next. While you're sorting that out and you sketch out and that I'll be, I'll be doing these, these, uh, this mixing and then I'll show you when I've mixed it, okay? I'm just getting some water on this. In fact, I don't want to cover your sketch because you're sketching from it. Just put some water in here. Now don't want this sky to be too busy because it's 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 a, a, a winter scene and it's a subdued sky if you like. So we'll just do it softly, softly, softly this one. Right, the raw sienna comes first, or the ochre. That's a touch of sunshine. That's 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 just not enough of that. Touch of sunshine. Wash the book out. Then some French ultramarine or ultramarine, whichever you want to call it, that's going to go in there, just there. And then some French ultramarine in the next pot, just there. And then wash the brush out and add some burnt umber in that last pot. Get some of that dirty brown colour. Add it to that and make a lovely grey well. Look at that, you can see it going grey already. That's lovely. So there's three of our colours. Now the only the other colour we want is that weak number seven. That's the alizarin crimson. So I'll put a touch of alizarin crimson. Not a lot, just weak. And I do mean weak. You can just see it. That's weak. So then our, our, our colours I've got ready. And that is when you've mixed your colours and that, and when you've got your sketch done, we'll start and paint it. Okay? Right, I'm going to remove these, these colours off the screen now. That'll expose the sketch we've got. And that exposes our, 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 our picture. So what I'd like to do now is, I've, you, assume we've got your sketch all done and ready, and we're ready for off. Clean water. Nothing complicated, clean water. And what I want to try to do is do the sky down to this, this is a winter scene by the way, so I'm going to keep that bit clean. That is going to be wintry. And then in the distance, we're going to have our sky, but not too busy. I'll show you what I mean. This is 
So, clean water. This is going on randomly. Go over the trees, no matter about the trees. And then put some sunshine in first. That's that number one there. Just your sunshine in. The, the light, by the way, is coming, as usual, from the top left, just up there. So I'll take the sunshine there. Don't worry about the trees, we'll sort that out later. Nice touch of sunshine there, that's lovely. Wash the brush out. And then put well, some uh, uh, ultramarine in there. Not too heavy, because it's a gentle picture this. Just scoop round that, that will form a nice area of cloud for you. I'm just tucking that in under there, a bit more down this side here, up in that corner. And then as I come down to the, the horizon here, I want to drop into that pinky stuff, the alizarin crimson, into that sky there. This is mind the, mind the snow, whatever you do, keep off the snow. Just down to that horizon line and whip that into there. So that's giving us a, sort of a, a winter glow in there. And then just when you thought it was a lovely day like that, But a cloud comes along. So here's a cloud. This is the, the ultramarine burnt umber. So we're creating some clouds. It's, 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 not a, it's a nice day, but, but, but not too nice. There's still some snow to come in that, you can tell. So let's just pop some of that in. Flop it down that corner there. Took a bit of shadow on the side there, there's the lights from there, so I took some shadow underneath there. Swarm and clouds. Let's see where we go. Taking that heavy stuff up there. But what I want to do is, while we're still doing the sky, it's important to get this just right, because what I want to do is in the, put some distant detail of, of trees in, distant trees. Using the same colours, we've got the, the ultramarine, we've got the, the burnt umber and the ultramarine in the background. So we want to drop some of that in, but let it, let it dry a bit round here first. It's, it's, too, it's too, too wet just yet, so we'll leave that a touch while, while you catch up. And that will take us to uh, We'll just, I'm just, it's just it's starting, it's starting to sort of soften now. Now I'm going to just use, just try it, try it out. And touch of, this is a touch of bluey stuff into here. Now our, our depth is this there, so let's see. It's still a bit wet that, but we, can, we might get away from it. Yeah, this is. Just no dry brush. This. So we've got dis distant woodland there, if you like, in the background. It's important we get this done before it dries off. I'll just wipe some of that off because it's going on to be snow and I don't want that. Come off the snow. I'm telling you not to put it on the snow, I'm, I'm doing it myself, I don't know. You can't get the stack, can you? So that's, that's clean that up a bit. Right, that's, that's our, our, our real depth there, so this time let's just use some of that, that 
dirty brown colour, this is stuff we've used up in the sky, and that ultramarine, and let's drop, drop some more into here. And what that does, that will give the impression of a tree, but those blueities are behind this one, because this is one stronger in tone. So we're trying to build up a backdrop for the main trees in the foreground. Let's just see where we go with this. And perhaps a touch around here. Some around there. I'm, I'm avoiding the trees now because I, I, I know where, where I'm going. That's a bit of a backdrop. And uh, what I'd like to do also is, as it's drying out, it's got to dry out yet though, so I need to do some different types of trees using the rigger. These are distant trees. Let's find my rigger. There we are, that's a rigger. And I've got to use some distant colour here to, to try and just drop in, hoping it's not going to disappear altogether. Distant trees like that. It's, it's because it's misty in the distance. It's 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 disappearing into the into the mist, but you can still see that it's been it's there in the first place. So that's a, a distant tree. Don't worry about these. We'll sort these out in a minute. These are just these trees are not important. They're just spear carriers. They're like the big opera there, this, this is the, the people at the back that carry their spears. So just down there, collect that down, just a touch more here. Perhaps if I had a bit more, a bit more strength into that, there, some of that bluey. It's introducing a little bit more strength into there. Oh, that's, that's one there, there's one there, look at that. That's an old, old oak, if you like. You can see it's covered in, in, in ivy and stuff like that. A real gnarled old thing that is. And the reason it is like that is because the wall, the picture is still wet there, and it's soaking into it. So don't worry about it. Let it be. Let it stay in the distance like that. That should be all right. And then, as it dries off, of course, we can put one or two more in, but nearer to us this time. Say just, just here like this. Lovely. And I wanted to want it to dry a bit, a bit of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to get my hair dryer and quicken the things up a bit. I'm just drying it up a little bit with the hair dryer. So put your volume down a bit. Speed of things up a little bit, but just, just a touch. Now to go and feel it. It's not, it's not completely dry, but it's a dry enough for what I want to do. So the next thing I want to do is put some more distant trees in, but this time they'll be more distinct for the simple reason it's closer to us. So that one will be so there. Still too soft, this, but at least you can see it. Softens out of it there. So we, we, we it, it's good. Into, this path is going to that woodland there, into the distance. Now, then, as it's drying out there, you can see that 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 tree is becoming more distinct. In other words, it's coming from to those because it's, it's clearer. 
that's what I'm trying to get. Now it's drying off a bit, that's lovely. So whether I can get another one in here, I don't know, let's have a see. Yeah, let's have another one here. Right behind that bed, behind that tree there. Here it comes up there. Across at that one. Oh, like that. The beauty of these, you don't have to draw them. You just paint them in. Dead easy. So you'll enjoy that one. Mind the tree. There. Across here, carry the branches on. And away we go. So we've got, we've got two trees. Which are, these trees here are further in front than these here because these are softening to the distance so we've got really soft a little less softer coming further forward and then these two trees a little bit closer to us so I'm, I'm trying to create depth because at the, at the, the, the end of the game is we've got a flat piece of paper here and we've got to make people think that it's not it's, it's three dimensional we've got to make them think that they can walk down this lane into this woodland that's what we're trying to do all the time. Let's see if that ain't dry now. Not really, I'd better just dry it a bit more of that because it's, it's getting a bit too... I don't want to lose too much, too much of that gap on there. Let's see where we go. That's enough. Boards and all this, you know, it's it's not it's, it's not uh, pre-recorded then uh, then uh, sort of cut out. It's 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 live. There's no hiding place. Oh, that's better. That's giving me some distinct distinct colour in the background there. So whatever you get, it's live, and you're stuck with it, or, or I'm stuck with it. Put it that way. So if it goes pear shaped, you can blame me. Perhaps another nicer one down here, like this, a th thinner one. So we're creating some a bit of a bit of a woodland here, but I'll, I'll try to put one in, in front of this lot here, if I can. So we see they're going down the lane, it's alright, lovely that. Perhaps one more, and then take the brush off me. So have a look. Nice little one down there, that. That'll do. So you can see now that these brushes, these bushes and trees and that are behind these, these are coming forward. And that'll be the backdrop of our sky. So I just want to just do a touch of, just a touch more on that sky, and then I want to have a break, to be honest with you. So we're just going to quickly put a bit more, a bit more bush in there, put a bit of that burnt umber, get a bit browny in there. Let's see if we can get some touch of brown into this here. That's lying to that tree down there. Lovely. Put some of this bluey stuff down here. That's further down the lane, so it's going to be paler, isn't it? Right. And a touch, perhaps a touch of brown, bringing the eye towards us on this side as well. Nothing, nothing, I don't want anything spectacular, I don't want birds nesting or anything like that, it's just, just a touch of, touch of colour there and a stronger colour than we've got right in the background. We're just developing a touch there. 
coming forward. We're coming closer to ourselves at this front end. That's lovely. Right. And what I want to do now is, I want to have a break there, lay it dry, because you, you want some time and you probably want time to have a breather. So I'm, I'm going to stop it there. And then we'll, we'll continue on with the rest of the sky, and the skies are right now, the rest of the trees and the foreground. Okay?